Drippy the raindrop was having fun. He was busy doing his favorite thing, floating on the ocean. Looking up, he smiled at his friend Mr. Sun, who had just come up. As the day wore on, Mr. Sun rose higher and higher in the sky. Drippy became hot, very hot. I'm hot, said Drippy. Suddenly, Drippy noticed a cloud moving across the sky. Drippy said to himself, that cloud sure looks nice and it's so hot down here. I wish I could fly up to it and cool off. And just as soon as he thought those words, he was flying up, up, up in the sky to his cloud. Drippy was evaporating. Soon Drippy landed on his cloud. While coming down, he was spot by another raindrop. This raindrop had a telescope. Ahoy there, said the other raindrop. Drippy was condensing. So you shipped in for a cruise, huh? said the other raindrop. Folks call me Captain Salty. What's your name, lad? I'm Drippy, and I came here to cool off, said Drippy. So where do you come from, lad? asked Captain Salty. Drippy leaned over the edge of the cloud and pointed to the water below. I was floating on the ocean. There, he said. Where is this cloud headed? asked Drippy. She's sailing there, said Captain Salty, pointing to a range of mountains in the distance. Looks like a storm's a-brewing. If things get rough, be ready to abandon ship, said Captain Salty. Yes, sir, said Drippy. Besides, it would be fun to visit the mountains below. No sooner had Captain Salty warned Drippy than things got rough. The cloud began to bounce. Drippy got ready to jump and turned and waved goodbye to the captain. Jumping from his cloud, Drippy fell with the rain towards the ground. Goodbye, lad! Happy journey to you! shouted Captain Salty as he went. Drippy was precipitating. Drippy looked down as he fell. He saw a stream winding through the forest in the mountains below. That should be a soft place to land, thought Drippy. But Drippy just missed the stream and landed on a tree next to it, bouncing from branch to branch he dripped all the way to the ground. Whoopee! shouted Drippy. Sliding down a rock, Drippy gently fell into the stream he had seen from up above. Hooray! said Drippy. This should be a fun ride! The rain stopped. Ah, said Drippy, as he floated along, breathing in the fresh mountain air and the smell of the pine trees. This is the life, he sighed.
¿Les gustó el cuento de Drippy, la gotita? Bueno, ahora vamos a hacer un trabajo y para eso necesitas un blog, un plumón o marker si tienes más delgadito and a pair of scissors, ¿ok? Ya niños, ahora que tenemos nuestros materiales vamos a dibujar gotitas. Vamos a dibujar algunas gotitas grandes, otras muy pequeñitas, otras medianas, una muy chiquitita, otra un poquito más grande, de diferentes tamaños, ¿te fijas? Tienes que dibujar seis gotitas y ahora las vamos a recortar. Ya niños. Las tengo casi todas recortadas. Me falta la más grande. Y te recuerdo que cuando recortamos no nos apuramos para poder ir derechito por la marca donde debemos recortar. Bueno, ahora que ya las tengo todas, las vamos a ordenar en una hoja de blog o si quieres en tu cuaderno. Y las vamos a ordenar por tamaño. Vamos a partir con la más grande, luego la que le van siguiendo en porte. Y yo te aconsejo que no las vayas pegando al tiro, porque si se te equivocas o pones una donde no iba, la puedes cambiar, la puedes dar vuelta. Y nuestro trabajo queda terminado cuando tenemos todas nuestras seis gotitas pegadas. ¿Ok? Que te quede súper lindo.